Uh, if you could snap your fingers right now and play one Call of Duty for the rest of your life as a competitive uh, game, taking everything into account. Oh, don't take everything into account. Just take your preference. Yeah. Which one would it be? Um. Honestly, probably World at War. I don't know. People always ask me, oh, what's my favorite game? World at War? World at War. Just everything about it. Yeah. I'd play map gen for the rest of my life. You would? Assuming like people could only play that one if I chose that. Yeah. Hell yeah. So you'd like to play that with the competition that exists today? Hell yeah. You think you'd still be as good as you were back then? People would not know what to do. No. Well, nah. I mean, they would. They would evolve, I'd be I looking think. like Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Number 23, the man, Michael Jeffrey, oh. Jordan. Uh -huh. um, the, the reason I ask that is because when I started... During the Farico time, when I started seeing you like on main stage and seeing your movement in Black Ops Two, I was like, and, and you were sniping then, right? You were like, yeah, auto aim snipers. Nowadays, I mean, I just don't know what they're doing. Yeah, no auto aim. We're not playing PC. Yeah, get that out of here. You need that. You need that little bit of of. Hell a, yeah, you have to. I mean, I like if snipers had auto aim. I mean, even back then, like I would run around with with a sniper because you could just hold a doorway. Yeah. Now, I mean, someone slides a doorway on you, you're not sniping up. No. And then you're probably getting a hit marker, too, because... Yeah. Yeah, so I when I first started seeing you, like, I, I called you the best sniper in the game. I think I called you the best sniper ever at one point because of your movement. And, and what made me think is just your map awareness and your positioning in the game. And, and I was just like, man, this guy's fucking nasty. At the time, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, we were already only doing competitive Call of Duty and we weren't necessarily like a sniping team anymore. And I was just like, man, this guy's fucking nasty. Yeah. Um, so I thought that you were going to say Black Ops 2, if I'm being honest, because of how good you were I mean, winning it, your first. Your it'd, first... Be, it'd be one of those two. But I don't know. I have like a like a real soft spot for World at War. Yeah. I just liked everything about it. No, the I'm maps, the, the game modes, like it was perfect. I'm the same way with, with Call of Duty 4. Yeah. Uh, and, Which and, is understandable. I mean, I think a lot of people probably are. no. No, no, not a lot of people. A lot of people. There's in my life. There are there. There's the two groups. There's two groups that say Modern Warfare Two was better than Modern Warfare, and there's like this this healthy balance of like which game was better. I think Hutch even said that Modern Warfare Two was better. I mean, I like I could understand that, but for me, like I mean, they're both great, but like the way it felt when COD Four when the beta came out, like. I was ready to skip school to play those three days. Yeah. Like, it was that good. It was like, holy shit. Like, the only thing I've played closest to this was, like, Battlefield on PC. It was, like, Battlefield 1 or 2. Yeah. And it was, like, a modern shooter. Yeah. And then this game comes out. You can shoot through walls. Um, I mean, just everything about it was, like, the graphics, too, for that time. Like, from COD 3 to yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was just insane. Yep. And it was fun. And it was like kind of realistic, but still arcadey. So like at the time, I mean, nothing, nothing compared. I think to like when COD Four came out. I don't think so either. I think like I think everybody was playing. Like I, I don't even know. You can't even like describe it. Like nothing compares to it. I don't think. I, I almost feel, and I've said this a, a bunch of times to my brother. I'm like, now that I have this space, I think that I'm gonna sort of start this this Modern Warfare club, this Call of Duty 4 club, mm -hmm. you know, where people who used to play Call of Duty 4 like, and love Call of Duty 4 would come here and play tournaments every Friday night and would just play, like, you know, bracket-style tournaments. Yeah. Um, I love that game that much. Anyway, just without going back into that, I want to talk about your love for not just... Because you're good at every single game. Everybody's seen that. And I, and I know that we're skipping... You know your championships and all that, and I guess we can we can get back to that. But before I forget, mm -hmm. you play every game out there. You you, you play Counter Strike. There's videos of you saying, "What was it? You were in a pistol round in I think Mirage, and you had a pistol, and then you like wiped an entire team, and then your teammates were like, oh, yeah, he's an optic. He's probably being trained by like Tarek.' Or oh somebody. yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. they did say that. Yeah. yeah, so he's got Summit on his friends list. Josh OG. Oh, he's got Mixwell too. Yo, he's the real one. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like. Oh, dude, the, the crazy thing to this day. So I never did my Steam. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but... The verification? Verification. So I still have Mixwell's knife. <laughs> you still have it? Yeah, he asked for it back, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then I was like, you know what? I don't know how to do it, but I still have it. If you ever want it back, <laughs> talk to we Steve. can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, what knife? 
Oh, uh, it's a um, it's a bayonet. I don't know, like one of the big straight knives, and it's yeah. it's all red. I think it's a super rare. Or I no, I don't think it's not like crazy. Like because he had a bunch. I was just like, hey, you got a knife? Yeah. Like yes, yeah, take one. Yeah. yeah. And then did he, he and did he ask for it he, back? He did, and then he's never asked for it after. But yeah. like I tried. I I don't know. I don't trade. I don't no. know how it works. You, you, I know how to get it. I don't know how to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's if 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 uh, if you can model your life around that mentality, I think you'd be as, yeah, as successful as you would ever want to be. It's all about getting it and maybe not necessarily always giving it back. Yeah. Um, 